Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today as we get cracking into video number two of two and as you can hear I've got an extra spring in my step this evening, I've got an extra buzz you know in the atmosphere right now and why? Because of this guy. This guy, we're going to get to this guy for the last time. This guy is about to become that guy. So we'll come to that very shortly. But before we do, make sure to keep yourselves posted on here with all the content that is dropping. One way to do that, like tomorrow, there's going to be one video, not two. One, I've warned you already in video number one. I will warn you again, but make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Tomorrow will be your preview for... Chelsea versus Wimbledon in the Carabao Cup second round. That is not televised, like I mentioned earlier. And don't worry, we're on it. <laughs> we're on it. We will find a way to watch this football match. We will. I'll, I'll keep you posted. But that's um, one of the two things that I wanted to let you know about. Secondly... Don't forget to go and check out Shootout. We had our new video uploaded today. It's right here where we, me and George go through our review for game week three of the Premier League where we give our thoughts on our predictions for every single fixture, the results and how each game went and our thoughts on it. So make sure you check out that video. Make sure you subscribe to Shootout. Much appreciated. And also check out the video from earlier on if you do want to watch it. I'll leave a link right here too. So let's get cracking on top of that the socials are in the description give us a follow much appreciated ah this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy i don't think it's going to be the last time i say this guy the last time i say this guy will be tomorrow i'm giving you a preview but you know what i've just thought about it i will try and fit another news video in even if it's straight after screw it you're probably getting a double upload <laughs> <laughs> because we know tomorrow things are happening. Tomorrow things are happening. Now, unless the announcement doesn't come tomorrow, then cool, you'll be getting a news video on Wednesday. But that news video that will drop on here, where we get the announcement coming from AS Roma themselves, will be the last time that I get to say this guy. And then from that point forward, we refer to him as that guy. <laughs> That's it. He's that guy. That guy over in Rome. The man that built Rome and took him about 84 years. Let's get cracking with the latest, starting off with Matt Law. Chelsea and Roma have now agreed a deal in principle for Romelu Lukaku's season-long loan. Roma will pay over £5 million loan fee and Lukaku will earn about £6 million in wages. Just contracts to now be signed and everything to be made formal. We had the official here we go from Fabrizio Romano, Romelu Lukaku to AS Roma. Here we go. Go. Agreement reached on the loan deal valid until June 2024. Player will travel to Roma on Tuesday. Salary coverage around 7.5 million euros for 10 months. Loan fee higher than 5 million euros. Green light arrived also on the player side. Done. Deal. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what he is going to look like. Um, not that we want to focus on that too much, but... More, Romelu Lukaku will earn just over £6 million during his season at Roma, but he has also had to agree a further cut should he return to Chelsea in 12 months. That is absolutely key and the first sign of very good business from Chelsea Football Club. They have not only got Roma to cut his salary, but pay the whole thing. On top of that, if, if, if he comes back to Chelsea, his salary has been cut. And he's agreed. So, is he finally waking up from the delusion? Is he finally understanding the situation? I hope. Fingers crossed. Anyway, he's agreed to it. So, I think he... To be honest, I think he's had to. <laughs> there is no other alternative right now. He knows he's stuck. And he's stuck in the mud. And he's stuck quite deep. But he's got Jose to pull him out. Unbelievable. What a man. Um, anyway, that is the situation in terms of his salary. Here's the latest on tomorrow. Romelu Lukaku will arrive in Rome at 5pm tomorrow for his medical and contract signing to seal his loan move from Chelsea. So this is where I suspect that I might be able to drop a preview for you guys late afternoon. And then at around this time tomorrow, we might be getting a 
official announcement, the official unveiling from AS Roma, where they all come out and go, oh look, Romelu has signed, uh, Benevento Romelu, and then all the Roma fans are like, oh bloody hell, he's our, he's our problem now, and Jose is like, don't worry, I said pay and don't speak, it's okay, don't worry, I will fix him. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, yo, Jose, legend, mate, you, take, you took him away, you took him away, go and do, you know what, I hope he fixes him. We actually need to watch Lukaku at Roma and hope he bangs goals in. Why? Because Chelsea, I explained reason number one, why they done a very good thing in terms of salary and cutting his salary even at Chelsea that was reason number one as to why they done a very good deal with this whole situation of Lukaku to, room, to, to Roma now there's a second reason what's the second reason here it is time to praise the Chelsea board Chelsea have written a 37 million pound release clause into Romelu Lukaku's new contract variation. Lukaku has also dropped his wages for the next year at Roma and the remaining two years after this is creme de la creme. Beautiful. This is poetry. I feel like there's prime, prime Shakespeare has come into the room. You know, Macbeth on a prime. You know, where oh, art thou, Romeo? <laughs> <laughs> Lavia. <laughs> you know, listen, £37 million release clause has been injected into this contract. Beautiful. So here's the deal. He goes to Roma... He does well. He starts banging in goals. We start thinking, oh, okay. And then Roma are like, oh, you know what? We might have to keep him. Well, if you want to keep him, not a problem. Trigger the release clause. 37 mil and he's yours. Beautiful business. Now, I say beautiful business. Some people are going to be like, oh, but you still made a loss of about 60 million. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. You don't need to focus on that. <laughs> we ain't stupid we know what we put ourselves in but would you have thought that we'd get 37 million but I, I was worried we wouldn't get 37 pound 50 back let alone 37 million 37 million release clause someone triggers that hopefully Roma after he plays well for a year beautiful we never get to see him again now some people are going to be like oh but you know what now but if Lukaku goes to Roma and Jose fixes him right and he starts banging in goals then he can come back and stop Stop, 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 stop right there. Stop right. I understand what you're going to say. You're going to say, oh, but he can he can transform his career, he can re re-emerge, you know? He can reintroduce himself like his big boss Jay Zeno says in terms of Rock Nation, right? He can reintroduce himself to the masses. Don't no, no, trust me, we already had a reintroduction from Lukaku and it's gone completely left. <laughs> you know, we we had him as an 18-year-old, he come back and reintroduced himself and it was a scam. Yeah? I ain't looking to get scammed again. So I couldn't care if this guy turned into prime Erling Haaland, right? I don't want him at this club anymore. Done. He can go and bang 55 goals over in Roma and I'd still be like, stay there. Trigger the release clause. Thank you very much. Why? We got our own boy to focus on and that lad is Nico Jackson right now. That's the man that we got to focus on. So Lukaku goes to Roma. Genuinely, good luck. Go over there and re revive your career. Do what you got to do. I wish you the best, but stay there. <laughs> and Jose Roma work your magic and keep him that's, that's, that's how it is 37 million pound release clause beautiful now we heard earlier Matt Law said that the loan fee is above 5 million pounds above 5 million pounds Fabrizio said it's above 5 million euros well obviously <laughs> so what is the fee well Yesterday we were hearing De Marzo say things like, oh, it's a 4.2 million pound loan fee, right? It's 5 million euros uh, in terms of the loan fee. Ben Jacob says otherwise. I understand it's an 8 million pound season long loan fee for Romelu... From, for, for Roma to pay Chelsea for Romelu Lukaku. And he will take a pay cut on his wages. If we have managed to... Listen, listen. If we have managed to get an 8 million pound loan fee plus salary cut plus Roma pay his cut salary plus cut salary in case he comes back plus 37 million pound release clause in his contract we have played a blinder this has been a beautiful negotiation <laughs> fantastic so for this absolute all credit fair play to whoever negotiated this from Chelsea Football Club here's, here's, your, here's your salute 
sir or madam, whoever it was. I'm guessing it was Paul Wynn, Stanley, Lawrence Stewart and them lot. If it was Egbali and Bowley and them lot, then fair play to you guys as well. Whoever it was, was it Joe Shields? I don't know. Whoever it was, fair play. This is for you. Salute. You've played a blinder here. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. You have sorted the situation out wonderfully. So, Lukaku heads off to Roma. We'll get the confirmation tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts on all of the uh, specifics and the details that I've mentioned. Do you like them? Do you not? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below. Much appreciated. I personally think we've played a blinder. Fantastic. In terms of what we could have salvaged, I think we've salvaged every single little bit that we possibly could have salvaged. That's, I don't feel like we can ask for more than this. We can't ask for more than this. This is the ceiling and we've hit it. So beautiful. Fantastic. There we are. Now... Let me know your thoughts. Let's move on. Matt Law in his article had other things to say as well. So let's get into it. Here it is. Chelsea made checks on Sporting Lisbon's Marcus Edwards, who Maurizio Pochettino nicknamed Mini Messi at Tottenham Hotspur a few weeks ago, but nothing transpired. While interest could be revived in Rafinha, who moved to Barcelona instead of the Blues last summer. I have to be honest, right? He has been quite accurate. Matt Law. We did say yesterday that, oh, it looks like Demarcio and Matt Law. Who's right? Well, it turns out, it, I think it's Matt Law. Um, he looks like he's got things spot on. I mentioned this earlier on, Rafinha being linked. I don't really want to see that, I'll be honest. Um, interest could be revived, though. We'll see what happens if we're going to be desperate. But Marcus Edwards as well, although nothing's transpired on that. This is what's been said. Apparently, we've just made checks. Chelsea made checks on Marcus Edwards a few weeks ago, but nothing transpired. Interest could be revived in Rafinha. As I think what it's saying here is we ain't interested in Edwards any longer. That was weeks ago. We maybe thought about it. Quick thought. It's a passing thought. See you later in the bin. Rafinha, personally, I wouldn't. And I explained this earlier on. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Why? Because it's obvious that, look, he's not a bad player. I wanted him when we first when we were first linked with him. But... He, like I said earlier on in video number one, he made his bed, he lies in it. You wanted Barca, there's your Barca. Go and stay in your Barca, mate. Done. Because this was the player's decision. We had an agreement with Leeds United. Barcelona didn't have an agreement with Leeds United. We had our bid accepted. Barca didn't have their bid accepted. He forced a move to Barca, got Barca to pay a little bit more, got Leeds to accept their bid, and then to collapse the entire deal with Chelsea. That was all Rafinha and his agent, Deco at the Times, doing that was all they're doing so now you stay in your Barca mate we don't need you <laughs> we don't need you not to say he's a bad player he's not a bad player I'd have him any day of the week but not in this circumstance you chose who you wanted to go to now I don't care you ain't we, we, we ain't your second best we ain't second fiddle we ain't your bit on the side like I said earlier your backup dancer you're your side man we're not that you chose your Barca you stay in your Barca good luck in your Barca there's other right wingers we will target someone else simple as that simple as that so that's uh, what my what I think on, on Rafinha don't need him now let me know your thoughts on that one more news and this one is interesting this one is very interesting check this out from um, this is from the Telegraph Jason Burt comes out and says breaking Thomas Tuchel wants to sign Trevor Chalabar on a permanent deal negotiations are progressing um, on top of this we've also had Florian Plettenberg say the same thing Bayern are on a secret mission to sign Trevor Chalabar also backed up by Fabrizio Romano who insists that Chelsea want a permanent deal by the way that's not so secret anymore <laughs> Just in case anyone didn't notice, that's not so secret. Um, but in terms of Trevor Chalaba to buy um, to, to buy Munich, this one's a very very interesting move. A move that I didn't really anticipate or think would happen. I thought that maybe Premier League clubs might come in, maybe Italian clubs might come in. Buy Munich, fair play, absolutely fair play. I think this would be a good move for him. Now Fabrizio clarifies the situation too. Understand Bayern have now formally approached Chelsea to start talks for Trevor Chalaba deal. Told Chelsea rejected the loan proposal as they insist on a permanent transfer. Talks continue in order to make a final decision soon. Inter wait for answers on the Pavard deal. This is a, a situation where... And by the way, Florian Plettenberg. Let's just show him before we wrap it up. Trevor Chalaba is the main priority at the moment for Bayern Munich. Thomas Tuchel wants him. It's clear. Now, this is a big, big link. It's it's sad, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit mm, a bit gutted, but it's the right thing to do. And sometimes the best thing to do doesn't always feel like the right thing to do, but it is the right thing to do. Sometimes it hurts, but it's the right thing to do. So going through the pain, just take the pain, go through it, 
and it is the right thing to do. Sometimes you have to you have to go through something like that. I feel like with Chalaba and Chelsea, it could have worked out different. But the situation we're in now defensively with Levi Colwell, Thiago Silva, Badia Shile, De Sassi, we're covered. We're covered in terms of a back three and we're covered in terms of a back four. We play a back four. We've got Levi Colwell, Badia Shile, left centre back. We've got Thiago Silva and De Sassi, right centre back. We play in a back three. You can play either three of them. Not a problem, and have one as an extra. You play in a back four, like I've already mentioned. You have two that are waiting to rotate with. We don't have European competition. This is the same situation why we're, lo we're looking to let go of Kukurea. If we were playing Champions League or Europa League, we keep these players. Why? Because we need the squad. We need the depth. We don't actually need the depth this time around because we have enough cover for two or three competitions max. No European football. Play one game every week. We are more than covered. So it will be a waste to just leave Chalaba on the bench, doing nothing when he won't play, while, like the point I mentioned a few days ago, which is key to why Chalaba and players like Chalaba are being targeted, is they are from the academy, they are homegrown, they are pure profit. Pure profit. The same reason why Arsenal have just sold Balogun to Monaco. Pure profit profit it balances the books much more effectively you look at a Kukurea like some people are saying oh Kukurea and the whole Lewis Hall debate we let go of Kukurea we let go of Lewis Hall uh it'd be better if we just let go of Kukurea instead of Lewis Hall wrong financially it's much much better to let go of Lewis Hall than Kukurea because in Kukurea we're making a loss immediately unless you're going to sell him for 97 million are you going to sell him for 97 million you won't no one will buy him for that but someone will buy Lewis Hall for 35 so we're immediately 35 million in the green or in the black as the economists say there you are but with Chalaba same situation pure profit and right now the spending we've had books have got to be balanced so this is where it's a good deal Thomas Tuchel by Munich he'll, he'll get into the starting 11 he'll play every week he'll play under Thomas Tuchel he will compete for titles he's got a fellow Englishman in the team in Harry Kane I feel like overall it's a good place for him to go to and I would wish him the best and I would consider a buyback I would consider because at Bayern Munich under Thomas Tuchel, who knows? Maybe Chalaba can. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't think he'll become an explosive, massive, unbelievable central defender. But he might progress and get better than what he is now, for sure. And if that is the case, who knows what happens in the future? We never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So it is a case of maybe we put a buy back in. But... Chalaba heading off to Bayern Munich is a big, big possibility and I do see it happening now. Let's wait and see when it's going to happen, but let me know your thoughts down below. In relation to Lukaku heading off to Roma, all the details, and Chalaba heading off to Bayern Munich and that deal possibly being done very, very soon. Let me know your thoughts down below and we will call it a wrap here so thank you all so much for watching much appreciated like i've said leave me all of your comments in the comment section below once again do not forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell to be notified once i've uploaded do not forget to check out the socials they are on screen for you right now instagram x and tiktok they are in the description hit all of those links my personal socials as well as the channel socials unis talks football socials on top of that don't forget to check out shootout link is in the description there the video earlier on today which a lot of you have enjoyed so much appreciated i'm glad you liked it it, um with our reactions to the Premier League weekend don't forget tomorrow over on shootout there's going to be a brand new Chelsea hot and cold so make sure you guys are there for that one you'll enjoy it and keep up to date on all the content dropping in the week because we've got new things coming to shoot out new ideas new concepts and you're going to love them so make sure you're there thank you so much for watching I'll see you tomorrow have a good one people take care and peace